I'm not a real gullible guy, but you know, I've known Pac for a while and I figured he's steering me straight. Have you seen that commercial messing with Sasquatch? That's Gary Dobbins underneath all that fur. There we go, boys. There we go, boys. That's a good fish. Hey, I'm Justin Rackley, but you can call me Mr. Repeat today because I'm beating them. Hey, I'm Mark Pack, and I'm going to beat these guys because their favorite food is tofu. Hey, I'm Gary Dobbins here on Lakeport today. Gonna have a great day's fish, and I'm gonna go out and beat these guys like a drum. I'm Randy Sitz, Army Bass Anglers. I'm gonna win the big bass battle today because Army Rangers always lead the way. Hey, welcome here to the Big Bass Battle. Today we're here on Lake Fork. And what we're gonna do today, we're gonna have a skills competition to see who goes out first. Now, what do y'all think we ought to do? Yeah, I got a great idea. How about we do push-ups? Hey, wait a minute. He's, <laughs> he's with the Army. They do push-ups. Hey, I'm down. All right, well, you two guys do push-ups, and me and big guy here will do a uh, little thumb wrestle. Oh, see who goes out. <laughs> How's that sound? Well, you should be four push-ups. You're both a lot closer to the ground. Hey, you scared to thumb wrestle? <laughs> no, I'm on it. All right, all right. Let's go. You ready? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, lean tough. All right, you got me. Good job. Hey, his fingers are twice the size of mine. You know, buddy, you walk and talk like John Wayne, but you act and fish a whole lot more like little Wayne to me. Whatever, hey. Hey, we'll find out at the end of the day. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see some push-ups. Load in 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Too. Well, at least now I've warmed up and kept that big bass. Now you guys might be tired. <laughs> 24 years of experience and practice. So. You got All right, guys. Well, let's hit it. Yep. Just got my butt whooped from push-ups, but I think I'm ready to go catch a big bass now. I'm nice and warmed up, so I'm ready to go. Hey, these fish today are going to be deep. We're going to be using big baits, big flutter spoons, big live magic sets, eight inch with a two ounce jig head on it. We're going to be doing some serious power fishing. We're going to be looking for schooling fish. You know, this time of year, fish tend to school up, and I like to catch them in numbers, and you can do that this time of year, throwing something shiny. Oh, there we go. Mm, not big. Might be a bass, though. Yeah, it's a bass. The right species. Not bad. No, nope, he's very big. But hey, the right kind anyway. Come here, buddy. The right kind. Pretty fish. Boy, he ate that spoon, too. Look at that. Three pounds, 12 ounces. A little bit bigger than what I guess. I guess three six, so I was off a little bit. Three, 12, three and three quarters. What a pretty fish. Send him back down there. Best. It's not the right color. <laughs> Need a green one. Yeah, basically what we got here is a, a creek channel that comes close to a hump, a high spot, and uh, there's really nothing on top of the hump. It's just sand down there, but it's it's kind of out in an open area, and it gives the fish something to relate to. And 
There's a lot of sand bass down there. But what the bass like to do is just be lazy, sit underneath them, wait for the sand bass to do all the work, kill and uh, injure the shad. And they just wait for them to fall down, and then they eat them. Or if they feel like eating something big, they'll just go straight after a sand bass and eat it. So it's a good place for big bass when you've got fall conditions, fish are schooling, water starts to get colder, fish are getting a little bit lazier. It's a good way to catch them. Big Bass Battle is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure begins here. Oakley HD Polarized an optical force field. Lake Fork Trophy Lures, lures with an attitude. NOCO Battery Chargers, NOCO Genius, wicked smart chargers. And by Dobbins Rods, when fishing is more than just a hobby. I sure want to catch one Mako Pack squeal. Not that I don't like Justin and Randy, because I'd like to think the world of those two guys, but me and Pax want to have this little grudge deal going. Ah, lean cut. All right, good, you got it. In a good way, grudge deal. Good job. <laughs> hey, we'll find He's out. He's a very good friend of mine. And if you can't pick and rib on your friends, then they ain't good friends. You got to be able to pick on your buddies. The trouble with Pack is he usually takes it pretty good and dishes it out better. He always comes out on top in the trash talking contests. Y'all want to know what Gary Dobbins' real job is? Have you seen that commercial messing with Sasquatch? That's Gary Dobbins underneath all that fur. I mean, that's his real job. He just builds rods on the side. But, but, but if you'll notice Gary, when he walks, he got his hands curled up. And he's kind of got that lope, you know? That's him. He's in my crosshairs, old Gary. As long as I can beat old Gary, I'll, it'll make my day today. That was a good bite, boy. That, there he is. That's a better fish. That is definitely a better fish. Come on up here, buddy. Boy, did that dude knock the tar out of that spoon. Holy mackerel, what a bite. Gosh, he ain't that much better. Boy, he's short and fat. Here's a, here's a fish built just like Mark Pack. Short and fat. Look at that belly on that dude. Boy, he way laid it. Good old Lake Fork. Good old Lake Fork spoon. Look at that. Haha, <laughs> 404. About a four or five pounder. But I'm gonna weigh him. He just thinks he's big. He's not big at all. Nice little chunk, though. He's about three and a half, probably. <laughs> right there is exactly what we're looking for uh, out here on Lake Fork this time of the year. Watching the birds work. They're working a, a, a pot of shad, and uh, they're there should be some big bass up underneath there. Probably some bar fish as well. So uh, I'm fishing a flutter spoon right now and probably any color is gonna work out here when they're, when they're doing that. But personally, I like to throw uh, one that mimics the bar fish. Got some yellow in it. And this is a, this is a you can see how big it is. Don't be shy throwing any uh, little stuff out here on Lake Fork. Uh, go ahead and throw, throw something big. And, uh, catch that trophy bass. Wondering why I'm using a spinning rod for throwing a spoon? I'll tell you. The best way to get a spoon down to the bottom when you're using a vertical presentation in a, in a quick, fast manner is using spinning tackle. Now, right now I'm fishing on a hump and I'm watching schools of fish come under my boat. And it's imperative that I get the lure down there as fast as I can when I see the school come directly under the boat. So what I'll do is I'll use a spinning rod and spinning reel to simply just open the bail and the line just comes straight off the reel. You don't have to hold your thumb on a spool like you would with a bait caster and get it down 
twice as fast, and you can catch more fish that way. Uh, it's three o'clock. Uh, I have on good authority. Uh, fish are supposed to turn on now, so uh, I'm going to take a chance and call this cast here that we're going to have a fish on. One caveat to that. Uh, the guy who told me these fish were supposed to turn on, uh, we just watched them idle by, so he might know something we don't. What's up? No. Yeah. Yeah. What side? Let all right, all right, man, later. <sighs> you know, guys, I think it's time to move. Now, we only got about an hour to fish, but this is the time of day, a big one, you can catch a big one. So I ain't giving up. I'm gonna keep throwing these big baits, trying to get that one big fish. There we go, boys. There we go, boys. That's a good fish. 